Now, what we want to do is to set up our cell so that it doesn't uh, show only label, but it actually shows the proper information. So for that, we are going to go to our main storyboard. Let me just close the side panel here. Just make sure you have selected the cell and double check that your class shows the correct class here. And then we're going to open our assistant editor. But uh, we need to open our uh, file that is our custom collection view cell. So um, have your main storyboard selected, then option click the file that you want to open in uh, assistant editor and it will open uh, next to your uh, file here. So what we are going to do is to some connections because we want to have access to our image view and to our label so we can populate it with different objects. So I'm going to select my label first from here to make sure that I'm selecting the right thing. Then you can control drag to your file here and make sure it's an outlet and I'm going to call this name label. And then I'm going to select my image view again, select from the left panel here, control drag and we call this uh, image view, hit enter. So we have these two outlets. And then uh, we no longer need our assistant editor. So we're going to just open our side panel here and let's close our assistant editor. then we go back to our code and here we need a function that will take a category object and will populate these two variables that we have. So I'm going to call this func generate cell and this is going to take one parameter category which is going to type of category and it doesn't return anything so we just put our curly braces here. So what we want to do, as soon as our function is called and our category is passed, we are going to take our name label, dot text, and we're going to say that this is equals to our category that we have passed, dot name. And then we say uh, image view, dot image, is equals to our category, dot image as simple as that. So we have all the information to populate our uh, category cell. Uh, what we can do here, come to our category view controller, uh, collection view controller. And here, since our cell is a type of category collection view cell, it means that now we have access to this function which is created, generate cell. So I'm going to say cell dot generate Let's command P to get access to the file. Uh, we we'll say generate cell. And now we need to pass a category. So how we get specific category in order to pass to our cell to display it? Uh, this is simple. We have array of all our categories. And then we have our index path that shows which cell we are. So this is like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. until 15. So we access all categories all it's called category array so say category array and then we will access the index path dot row and this way we are going to access our specific category so let's run our code again and this time we are going to be able to see some information so you see uh, we are getting the names correctly now because uh, all of them are set here. But uh, one thing is wrong with our uh, visual interface because everything is messed up. And plus we don't have any pictures yet because 
there are no source files in our project which we are going to put in a, in a few minutes but first what I want to fix is how our cells look because right now it's kind of mess here 